of the guys who has been playing in all these games and has been exceeding expectations, at least externally, is Andrew Wiggins. What, what can you say about the role he has carved out for himself with the Warriors? Well, it's, you know, third, fourth on the pecking order, which it fits him better than it did in Minnesota when he was first or second, whatever you want to put it. Uh, he actually started the season slow. You know, he had a knee issue in training camp. Obviously, he had that vaccine controversy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think that led to a slow start to the season. But he really kind of was electrified in that game against the Timberwolves, dunked on Carl Anthony Towns twice, had a huge game and a win. And ever since then, he's been really aggressive. And that's always been the thing with him in his career. Just if he's aggressive, if he's downhill, if he's not settling for 17 footers he's going to help you on the other end defensively uh and yeah for lately he's been huge and and he is a main reason uh they just went three and one on the road trip and are 14 and two this season yeah so has jordan Poole. obviously he exploded onto the scene this preseason during the exhibition portion of the schedule and then had his numbers roller coaster a bit the first couple weeks of the season but he's coming off the, a massive game curious what what the warriors are saying about what his role will be once Clay comes back and, and how much that adds potentially, assuming he does go back to that six man role, what that does for this second unit. Yeah, the Warriors haven't really had that like electrifying, like microwave bench score off the bench, uh, you know, for a long time. And that's what he will be. You know, he, he, it's, he, Clay Thompson, when he's ready, will take that starting spot back. And uh, Jordan Poole this season, you, and you saw it the other day in Detroit, when Steph Curry's been off the floor, his uh, on the ball, his production level goes up, his scoring goes up. And I think the expectation is he can really kind of use those non-Steph minutes as a bench player uh, to, to really even float the Warriors even more in that second unit and potentially even have a pick and roll partner with James Wiseman whenever Wiseman comes back. All right, a lot of news there to get to with the Warriors. Don't remember the last time you and I chatted and my last question was about Steph Curry, but We'll go there finally to wrap things up. Having another MVP-like season, for somebody who has covered him for as long as you have, and, and I remember you and I having a conversation during the NBA Finals about just how good Steph was last year. What, what do you even see even more up close and personal about Steph this year? I'd say the strength and conditioning uh, is just at an all-time level for him. He's bigger, you know, uh, up top, and it, it allows him to absorb contact more. Um, and, and then with the conditioning, he just runs around the court like all game. And, and, and defenses, if you if you lose him for a split second, he's going to get an open three, and he's going to chuck it up. That's the other thing. You know, he was only averaging about like eight, nine three-point attempts way back in his first MVP season. That's up in like 13, 14 type range. Um, and, you know, he's still hitting him over 40 uh, percent. And then beyond that, I think he's the best he's ever been on defense. And we're talking, you know, the Warriors have the best defense in basketball right now. And I'm not he's not Draymond Green. He's not the engine of that defense, but he's certainly not a liability at the point guard position. And that's really mattered this season without Clay Thompson next to him. He holds his own there. And I think part of that is that strength I'm talking about. So let's later real quick. One last final thought here. Just thinking about this Raptor matchup here. Obviously, no Kawhi. No Kyle Lowry, but do you imagine guys like Steph and Draymond still get pumped up to take on this team that essentially ended the dynasty? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, and th they'll find slights or motivations just like any great player in the league. And I think the way they've been blown out uh, the last few years and, and, and maybe doubted um, allows them, you know, they went into Cleveland the other day and were very motivated, uh, you know, for that game at the end. And I, you know, that is the team they battled in the final. So, sure, I can – just them seeing Nick Nurse over there who unleashed a box and one on Steph Curry, I'm sure it gets him – his juices flowing a little bit. Uh, but there are several teams across the league that were, uh, you know, slayed by the Warriors in past years uh, that, that, you know, they get going for.